Hey there, teacher friends. Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to look at this game that I found online this morning on Instagram. I did not make this. I just want to show you how you can make your own and play it to suit your class. I imagine this could probably work in any class. It doesn't have to be a language class. Uh, if you want to, also, by the way, I will put a link to this document you see on the screen in the description of this video so you could open it, make a copy of it, and then just use mine uh, as a template and then just, you know, highlight all these words, uh, delete them, and then put in your own stuff and the directions could say the same. But to play this, what you're going to do is get the students a couple of dice, a partner. You could probably play with more than one person, I imagine. We just did it in partners. And they will roll their dice. And let's say they get a two and a four. Uh, so they will go to two and four, which is la madre. Or I also let them go to this two and this four if they wanted to, which is el padre. They'll just say the word in Spanish and then say their English equivalent and then put their initials or somehow mark that they got that box correct. If they don't know it, then they would basically lose their turn and it would go to the next student. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most boxes wins. Um, as you get further along in this game, what you're gonna find is, is that, because I had to play, played with, I played with a student this morning, you're gonna find that it becomes very difficult to get the re remaining boxes because there's, you know, you get down to like five or six and you have to get very specific uh, dice rolled in order to get those. So what I did was I said, just start rolling one die. And let's say I got a four, then I could do any of the fours here or any of these fours. And that makes the game easier to finish when you get close to the end. Uh, I made two of these. Uh, one was for uh, Espanol Uno and the other one was for Espanol Tres. And I made some easy, you know, stuff like just a vocab word. And then some of them I put sentences in there, but it's a little bit more challenging. And then on my other version, I actually put some pictures in there. Like I put a picture of a uh, lawnmower so they, because they're learning some vocab with a uh, house and chores stuff, or I put a picture of a trash can for la basura. So you can put pictures in as well. And um, to do that, if you're in Google, you know, doing Google Docs, you can just go insert image and then uh, search the web for it. And it's super easy. Uh, that's pretty much it. Again, check the description for the links to my two examples that you could just delete all of the answers from and put your own stuff in. It's pretty quick and easy. You could easily also make this into an online activity. If you're an online teacher, say using uh, Google Jamboard, you could make this uh, in Drive like this, and then you could just take a screenshot of this and then set that screenshot as the background of your Google Jamboard, and the students can just you know use the pencil tool or whatever to put X's and use an online dice uh, rolling tool for them to roll the die. Okay, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.